Group Fund, thank you so much for coming to the season series finale of Run the Burbs. Uh, just as a piece of housekeeping, just for those people standing, it's so appreciated. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry you didn't have seats. You also didn't come here early enough. But uh, if you want, down there is going to be an overflow area with seats. So if you do want to go down there and watch the episode, you can watch it down there and then come back up here for, uh, for the Q&A and the photos and the after party as well. So just as a heads up, you don't have to stand the whole time. Um, th this sh making the show, making any show in Canada is, is, is a miracle. Just any, making anything creative is a miracle. Uh, and and I'll, I said it before and I'll say it again, I am so proud of this show. And I had to write down some notes because I felt if I, if I didn't have these notes, I would, uh, I would cry if I didn't have these. So I'm going to try to read off this tonight. I'm so proud of what this show is and what the show has done, the stories we told, and its hearts and what the show stood for. Though I wish we could have gone longer, three seasons is an incredible run. Look at this. Look at this energy. Yo, make some noise if you came out from the suburbs for this. I appreciate you because we all know Toronto is down to one lane. Just one lane everywhere you go. Thank you for leaving at 1 o'clock to get here. It's funny because it's true and sad. I, 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 I gotta take the time, and I know we're, we're starting late, and I apologize to you again. I gotta thank so many people, so many important people to the show. And to properly do this, I gotta do it in chronological order and start from the beginning. This show wouldn't exist without this guy right here, Scott Townend. My co-creator, my best friend, my brother from another mother, we pitched each other this idea of eating pizza in a basement one day. And, and it just felt right, and we started just talking back and forth. And a month later, we had the, the bones of what would become Run the Burbs. So thank you for everything you did, all three seasons, every day on set, uh, always being my rock. My favorite was at the end of a shoot day, Scott would come up sometimes and he's like, hey, do you want to really know what happened today? Like, he didn't want to tell me things because he didn't want me to have the stress. He was always there to protect me. He was my big brother the whole time. Scott, I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you so much. Our producing partner, Pier 21, Nicole, Karen, Vanessa, Nafisa, Laszlo, and Bill, thank you so much. We brought this idea to you, and literally, I remember walking into your office and Nicole's like, whatever you have, we'll buy it. We want it right now. They believed in us from the beginning. You have been through the fire with us, making this show and pulling all the pieces together. I want to shout out our legal team, who are here, because they literally had to clear a million things. And I kid you not, every single pair of sneakers I wore on the show, someone had to manually clear with Nike. So thank you so much. It's, growing up in Canada, I never thought I would see a day where someone like me would be on national television. Yeah. And so, I gotta thank the CBC, because we're on that big wall right there. They put love and money into the show. Thank you to the CBC for believing in the show, putting it into development, and making it for three incredible seasons. Thank you to Sally, Trish, Melanie, Kathleen, Greg, and Sandra. You nurtured this show and allowed it to find its voice and point of view. So thank you. Woo! Is Sandra here? <coughs> I, is, she, is she here? She's here. She's here. She's here in spirit. Or she's like watching from the ninth floor. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sandra was in the room for my Kim's Convenience audition, and she has believed in me from literally from day one. So I want to thank Sandra. I want to thank Mel for she was one of the execs on the show. She came on in season two and really let the show grow, and she fought for our vision and what the show could be. So thank you to Sandra and Mel. I want to thank marketing and the publicity team for all your hard work. Honestly. 
your hard work in getting us up on billboards and posters and, and, and on the wall and then putting this event together tonight. And I really want to thank Tegan, who has been by our side all three seasons. Every event, everywhere, has been with us every single time. And has been with me since Kim's Convenience. So Tegan, wherever you are, thank you so much. Right there, thank you, Tegan. I want to thank Suzanne, our PR lead, who's worked with us for three years, doing amazing work getting us into every press publication across this country. I want to thank the entire cast, many of whom are here tonight. Racky, Zariah, Roman, Jonathan, Ali, Chris, Samantha, Julie, Aurora, Kimmy, Pierre, Christine, Chargill, Gavin, Edwige, Jackson, Peyton, Anne, Candy, and Cardinal Official, and so many more. You made this show come to life. You came to set ready to play, be silly, and you honored the stories. You made each of the characters your own, and we fell in love with you. To audiences, you became their family each week. It was an honor and joy to work with you, to grow with you, and to watch you on the screen. So thank you to the cast of this show. I see you in the crowd. Make some noise if you were on the crew for Run the Burbs. Oh. I love you so much. The crew are fantastic, loyal, and dedicated crew. You brought your talent and skill to set each day. We built such a fun and supportive set, and you made this show feel like a family. We basically had the same crew for three consecutive seasons. I saw you go above and beyond in making the show. You are at the top of your field, and we are so thankful to have worked with you. Shout out to Jessica and Chantel for wonderfully leading the crew for three seasons. So thank you to the crew for everything you've done. They won't like me calling them out, but make some noise if you wrote on Run the Burbs. <laughs> just like, don't stand here. Just like, you're just hiding in a corner. Our writers, our incredibly talented and funny writers, who over three seasons did such an incredible job. You balance comedy and heart and cultural specificity in your work. We did things that only a show like Run the Birds could do. Yeah. It became our reputation. We did episodes about raccoons, cottages, wet dreams, safe spaces, grief, Lunar New Year, homemade speed bumps, and which curry was better. All while making the people and stories feel relatable and grounded. And we have you to thank. Thank you to the writers of Run the Burbs. I do want to shout out some people specifically. Shout out to Wendy, uh, who was really instrumental in the development of the show early on. I want to shout out Shevly. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? Shevly, that man right there. Our season one showrunner, who we literally went to war making this show. You helped us find the show. You made the show in COVID with us. Casting over Zoom, you did everything to propel us forward. I want to thank Anthony, our season two showrunner, who taught us to fight for our ideas and trust our stories. Anthony is also the person who encouraged us to use the PH naming conventions for all of our episodes in season two and three. And our season three showrunners, Nilu and Jenica. Jenica, you're here. Where you at, Jenica? <laughs> who pushed the show to even bigger places while always making sure we were a show about family. This family. Our directors, we got to work with such incredible directors who took each episode and made it their own. That's the thing I love about the show. Every single episode felt special, it felt unique. It was slightly different than the previous episode. Every director put their signature and DNA into each episode they directed. With shots, montages, homages, music, you made this show feel alive. Alicia, you here? Nope, she didn't come. All right, well, she <laughs> Alicia, I want to thank you as our consulting director who helped really find the show and the look of the show. You're like a big sister to me. I know you'll always be there when I need you.
No, man, she's here. She texted me this morning and says, do you have a ticket for me? I said, yes. Then we found her a ticket, emailed it to her. We gave her the time and she didn't show up. <laughs> if she shows up late, let's just all stop and stare at her as she walks in. I want to thank all the people who gave us money to make this show. Because we need money to make things. And this show could not have been produced without the financial support of the CBC, Canada Media Fund, the Government of Ontario, the Canadian Film or Video Production Tax Credit, Fifth Season, and Pure 21 Films. It is so hard to make anything in this country. So ensuring that we were properly funded was huge to tell these stories. So thank you to all of our funders. I'm almost done, I promise. Our editors, our editors, Mandy and our post team, Rudy and Calvin at Urban Post, Michael, our music supervisor, his music team, who honestly pulled some incredible gems. I'd be like, yo, Michael, can we get some kind of wonderful by Sky? Yo, Michael, do you know B44? Can we get that down? <laughs> He's like, you want to get, no one's want to get down since you asked, Andrew. I'm like, yeah, I want it. In season two, Andrew uh, plays I Cry by Bass's Bass, and I was so worried about getting it. And I, I, they got it, I was like, how'd you get it? They're like, oh, no one's wanted it since the song came out, Andrew. It was quite easy to get. Yes. All of you, ex uh, Tyler, our composer, who made the sickest soundscape on Canadian TV. Uh, just as a plug, Tyler Arms is in a band called Down With Webster. They're touring Canada this summer. Please go see Down With Webster. Uh, kids, if you don't know who that band is, ask your parents. Uh, all of you executed the vision of the show and pulled it together. I'm in awe of your skill and talent because you made it all work seamlessly. Thank you. I want to thank my assistant, Alexa McCall. Alexa, where are you at? There she is. Literally helped me hold it together for all these seasons. And I kid you not, every time Andrew goes like this, it's literally Alexa directing me in season three. So you can have her to thank for all the cool things that Andrew was doing. And finally, I want to thank all of you, the fans. You invited us into your homes each week. You were so passionate and vocal about the show. You connected to these characters and saw yourselves in them. We made this show for you. 